Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Jay Cocoon 2, in the last episode we beat the game! But guess what, we still have so much more to do. A bunch of forests, even longer than ever, and uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and get started. What I'm gonna do for this episode, actually because I have a new computer, and this is uh, my first time recording this, uh, this game with it, I'm actually going to be, I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and run the entire forest in one recording and then split it into, I'm not sure if it's gonna be in two or three episodes, if it's three episodes, I'll probably be releasing more than one of these a day, but uh, that's the plan. Also, last episode, we have a full team of eight now. Look at this beauty. Look look at this. Look at this beautiful team. Everyone is fully evolved except for Tamal because he's a scrub. And, uh, well, we're just going to go kick some butt in these new forests, really. That's, that's the game plan here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So... We're going to go ahead and start, I, uh, I, I spent a bit of time debating which one I want to start with. I decided we're going to start with the water forest, because generally it's the easiest forest, and it also has a couple useful comma that I actually want to um, to use. So we're going to go ahead and start with the water forest. Uh, we, there's a fifth forest and a sixth amount of forest for each element. Each of them, as you can see, has seven different floors now instead of four. So, and they're, they're not any shorter than usual. They're They're pretty much full length, you know... Crazy, crazy, epic times, so, uh, we're gonna have to deal with that. Can you just turn around so I can get a first strike on you? No? Yes? Good. There we go. So, uh, we're gonna have to still fight a bunch of comma. It's linear, so we can't really dodge the comma as easy. It's just kind of a pain, but we do have a chance to finally demonstrate our, our final formation here, essentially. Ramakite and Baryon. So now we have both increased defense and a barrier in front of us to prevent them from attacking us, which means essentially we just we just have a lot of defense. And then in the water formation now, we also have an additional move in the fact that we actually have an offensive ability as well. So ultimately we have a pretty solid combination now just because we have a lot of defense. And you know, every side can at least do some damage, so uh, and this guy does a significant amount of damage. I mean look at this. You know, this is the new guy. He still does over half the health of the enemy in one hit, and that's without the defense lowering boost. Don't forget, most of the damage I'm doing is with, you know, it, it, he did more damage than uh, Gaia did. So, he does a lot of damage, even though he looks really creepy with his little tentacle things. Oh, Shadow Mario, why are you so creepy? Anyway, as you can see, for some reason, also, was when I was practicing with this team, Shadow Mario has its tendency to attack a target that's not weak. So, I don't know if they're just a different... Divine Beasts are just programmed to attack different things, but I'm okay with this. But look at that, they haven't even broken the barrier yet. We haven't taken any damage, and we're about to win the fight, so... Pretty cool. Also, the nice thing about this combination is it actually puts the most MP pressure now on the Divine Beast with the most MP, namely Scooter. So, that's actually kind of convenient, because it's giving you... Like, the, the majority of the pressure is on Scooter, then that means, you know, it doesn't really necessarily matter that he's... Uh, well, be, he has the most MP. He'll be okay. So, I guess we'll head this way so we don't have to... We're going to avoid as much fights as possible. I still am not entirely sure how I intend to to sort of play this whole thing out. You know, whatever, we'll fight you. Um, how, how I really intend to just uh, upload these episodes, because I know doing like three of these per... It's just going to drag on, so... I'm either going to upload two episodes a day or speed this up so it's in two parts or something. I'm not sure yet. So, uh, well, obviously you guys will know by now because, well, it'll be pretty obvious probably by this point, but we'll see. We, we shall see. Because, unfortunately, the post-game is almost as long as the real game, if you put it. If you, I mean, it's basically two, well, it's eight times seven, so 56, versus, what, four times, or 16 times four, which is 64, so it's, like, it's almost as long as the initial set of levels in the game, which is kind of sick. Silly, but that's okay. It's yeah. I'm not sure. Like the post game is just really long, and it, it doesn't really even have that much new story content or anything. It's just unnecessarily long, I guess. It's the PS2 RPG era. Those games tend to have ridiculous post games that take forever. It's just kind of the name of the game, really. So uh, it's something I had forgotten before I had started this project. So I got into this project, then, and then I realized that that's coming up in the post game. I'm like, oh. What have I gotten myself into? But you know what? We'll stick with it because that's what we do. It's it's all good. Um, there are gonna be times where obviously I'm gonna be focusing on the wall formation, being the one with the least experience. Um, we want to make sure that Madame, oh Madame, 
uh, PK and Shadow Mario are the ones who need the experience the most currently. So, we'll be giving the majority of the experience to them, but then we'll divide against the, amongst the fire and wind when it comes to that. So, Fu and Ceiling, once again, will be competing for experience, but that's not something we haven't seen before. We're, it's not too surprising. So, Twill Mugwarts! Aw, yeah! So, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, that's another reason why we did the Water Forest first, because we can get a bunch of the books and the Mel Elixirs and all that stuff. Always helpful, but also we do get a little bit of story time. Hey, you! You look familiar. Yeah, oh, what a gaudy woman. Hey, hey, Kahu, what are you looking at? Her beautiful sure, right? hair. What? Yes. Young man, have we met somewhere? Her voice is so Hi, silly. You're alive. <laughs> I'm so glad. What a relief. So this is. Very looks some looks very similar to Cure. Yes, Did it, was her wish to become human? Hey, young man, Rue? Or come somewhere? true? She does look a little like her, but is she human? Well, yeah, she looks pretty human to me. She is cure. I somehow know it. Whatever the case, how can such a coincidence happen? Hey, young man. Well, we did go to the water and wish that. Could she be a fairy? We have a fairy, that's right. I'm sorry, but you happen to look a lot like our friend. We don't mean any harm. Wow, incredible! It talks! Hey, young man, will you sell it? Oh, if only I could. Sorry, Nico here is my friend. Aw, how nice, a friend. I want one. Oh, forever alone. Our meeting here has got to be our fate. Pleased to meet you. My name is Cure. Dun, dun, dun. I knew it. I'm Kahu, and this is Nico. Pleased to meet you. Huh? <laughs> Kahu, you're an odd one. Well, see ya. Bye bye. So, Cure, is this the human cure? However, she seems to have forgotten us. Hey, hey don't you know me? Don't you remember? She seems to have forgotten us in oh, becoming God. human. Uh, unfortunately, no. Hmm. She acts like a stranger. Did she lose her memory? Then why are we the only ones who remember her? Who knows? No one knows what Elrim is thinking. Hey, hey, give me a hint. Maybe I'll remember. Maybe it's because we had, like, you okay. know, we were involved in the whole her becoming human that we're those who remember it. Making it big. That's apparently just Nico's catchphrase. Making it big. Just, it's a strange catchphrase, Nico, but, I mean, whatever floats your boat, really. If that's the kind of catchphrase you want to have, then, you know, more power to you, I suppose. I didn't want to get into this fight. Oh well. Well, that takes care of that fight. I, I should remember to actually, you know, talk and stuff. That might be important. Anyway, that actually does take care of this first floor. Um, the first floor is always really quick, though, so don't take that as indication that all these other floors will be quick. The rest of them are actually significantly long, so uh, you can see the first one and the third one look pretty quick, so we'll probably be able to get through those three at least in this episode, but even then, I'm not really... I mean, it's already probably about, what, ten minutes? Yeah, it's... It's, it's Jay Cocoon 2. It's... It's a lengthy game, all things considered, so we're gonna go ahead and just get through this. It is nice to have this recording stuff now where I can, uh, well, A, I don't have to worry about my recordings crashing, because that used to be a problem, and B, I can just kind of record, you know, everything all at once, and it'll render fine. So that's at least a nice perk of my new setup, is that I can at least do that, but, uh, yeah, it's a lot of the same enemies, a lot of the same everything. It's not really the most exciting thing in the world, unfortunately. Um, it's just kind of the way the game... Wants to be though in the post game, so it's what we're gonna have to deal with. That's just the simple matter of the, the, the simple. That's just how things are. Um, is there a way I can get past you, sir? There is. I can actually avoid like all these enemies right now, which is kind of cool. I mean, that's always good if I can just avoid all the enemies. You know, that'll certainly speed the process up significantly. So maybe I can split this into two. That would be. That would be a nice dream, but I also recognize that it is very much a dream. Hey, you're new and exciting, let's fight you. I was kind of hoping you would turn slightly so I would get first strike on you, but oh well. Um, this is actually a combo we're going to get on this floor. We still actually do have Kalma to get, which makes it even more necessary to do that, and the fact that we are going to want as many levels as possible before we do the arena tournament, because uh, the tournament can get pretty tricky. 
So we're gonna make sure we want to be as strong as possible before that, because that's essentially, you know, the the real end of the well. That's pretty much the second final in the game. I think, I think there's even a credit scene after you beat that, so there's that. Anyway, as you can see, um, they use a move that recovers MP, so this is the S rank MP recovery move. Um, that's kind of cool, actually. You can get the your MP back. It's it's a it's pretty neat. So we'll just go ahead and use this guy again. Um, that's another reason why I came here first, because if you want the S rank MP recovery move, you want to come here first, and that's not a terrible move to give to someone. It's something tempting to give to Shadow Mario, honestly, that or Arya for additional healing. Those two are very tempting to give, but I do kind of want to have an offensive part on this in case, you know, the water formation is the only one left. You don't want to pretty much instantly lose. So, uh, I, I guess, I don't know. It's, this is, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure which of the, if you want to go a pure healing formation or not. Um, a pure healing probably is a little bit more effective, all things considered, but... In the end, I kind of just felt like keeping something offensive on this side. Plus, I get to use a Nah. Otherwise, I wouldn't really be using a Nah, probably, and that's kind of lame. So, uh, I guess I could use a Nah. I mean, they still have this one still has a ridiculous magic stat, so it's still worthwhile for moves like the MP Recovery. And, well, Aria doesn't really matter, honestly. Aria would be better given to Scooter, and then Salamnes would be better given to that, but whatever. Um, let's just explode you! Boom! Fu says kaboom! And except it didn't really kaboom, but we can at least smack you in the face! And you die. You die! You die! Yes, quad. But yeah, PS2 era RPGs, they have their charm for sure. I've, I've pretty much been on a PS2 RPG kick, like, recently, which is really nice. Which is why I'm glad to get back into recording this, because I was definitely, like, off on recording this for a bit. And it's actually been quite a while since I recorded the final episode. I kind of just did, a, like, a lot of that whole file section all at once with my old computer, and then I had to spend a while getting this one set up, so that happened, but uh, anything else in here? There is a comma on this floor, so I do want to make sure I get that, but a Calabas Herb is gr a great find to get here, wow. Was not expecting a Calabas Herb, and I think I just got first strike, didn't I, because I wasn't looking. Yup. Oops. At least Scooter can take those hits just as well as my defensive formation apparently can. Which is good, that was what I wanted. And that takes care of that fight again. Ah, so many battles, so little time. Because yeah, I mean we're only on the second out of seven. These are going to be long recording sessions for me essentially. Um, like I said, I think I'm just going to record this all at once. Oh come on, really? I can't just fit into that little gap. You and your damn tentacles. Oh, I actually killed him in one hit. I probably could just do this whole fight with just one Soldona. Apparently, no, his defenses were lowered, but... If I just went to the fire formation, I'd probably just, like, instantly win the fight if I so chose to do that. But, uh, spreading the experience around. Spreading the love. Oh, Kahu, oh. you came at a good time. Hello, you. I want to test a new formation. Can we try a battle? Will you help me? Sure, let's let's do this. This uh, when I was doing a practice of this, this this did not happen. Interesting. Thanks. You are a good friend. Ready? Anytime. All right. Well, we're gonna fight Cure. An actual beast hunter battle. That's exciting. Okay. Whoa. Come on, let's fight. It's like three cures. Whoa! Damn, Cure, you're scary. You're really scary. And I think that's the uh, HP recovery move, and then this is gonna hurt. Wow, her divine beasts are kind of terrifying. Ow! This just turned into quite a battle. Okay, we need to get our defenses up and get the ball rolling here, because this this could be problematic here. Let's, let's get our defenses up. Let's uh, start attacking back here because... Yeah, that was... That was some damage there. Ow. At least they don't seem to take hits very well. Um, so I guess she's a Drac-based team. It makes, makes sense that she, since, since she used to be a water dragon and all. Although, dang, if that recovery... Ah. 
Not fun. Let's just go straight to this and... Okay, well, this could be scary if they have those fire moves. But I do have a barrier up, so we're okay. Plus, I can get some confusion off. Kill one of them, probably. Yep. Um, oh, and they're just sample barrier anyway. But yeah, welcome to the fully evolved Drax, by the way. They look really cool, by the way. They look really, really cool. But uh, luckily, we can't even, they can't, one can't even break this thing, so we're still in good shape. But, uh, dang, Kier, you, you be scary. You definitely be scary. Let's just go ahead and uh, use Soldona here and hopefully take giant chunks out of this formation. Um, well, it did take a pretty giant chunk out of this formation. Probably gonna kill, be able to kill both of them. Or, you know, I'll hurt myself. That works too. So unfortunately, she sets up a barrier, which makes my life a little bit more tough here. Um, let's go into this formation. Probably gonna outspeed. This is probably gonna suck. Oh, so I do, I do have still have my barrier up. Well, I had a barrier up, and at least I, I'm immune to stuns on this side. So I can get my barrier up, I can go to my war formation to heal up, and then I can kind of cycle around to do more uh, damage. But yeah, this is a fight I was not expecting to happen. And it's a fairly difficult fight. This is definitely going to confirm that, you know, this is going to take three episodes. Like, I have no doubt in my mind now. But, uh... I also watch out for Scooter's MP. It's getting a bit low. Luckily for us, we do still have a barrier up, so... Um... Oh, don't stun her. She's my healer. That's not cool. But at least uh, we'll get some recovery going here. And some damage to add on to it. Uh, damage is always a good thing. Except it's going to only hurt the barrier. That's right, you still have a barrier. Mmm, that's annoying. Let's go into our wind formation to try to slow this bleed down a little bit, because this is getting a little bit difficult, actually. So, uh, break the barrier, good. And uh, let's just go ahead and... Well, it's a water formation one. I guess I wasn't expecting any confusion to happen. But unfortunately, this is going to be annoying, because now they're going to get HP recovery and heal from this. Well, that's only going to heal her. But, and I do have my defenses up, so I'm okay. But, okay. This is definitely not the fight I was expecting. Let's go into our fire formation and just hurt people. Because this should easily take out at least one of these. Or maybe not. Huh. Well, at least take the middle one, please. Tamal! Tamal, what are you doing? Oh, and the shockwave didn't kill. So close. We're going to actually take some damage here. We don't have our defenses up either. And you have a barrier up. Man. Man. Ow. You smack me in the face, it's really rude. And with the healing going on as well, I want to try to. I don't think she's gonna stay in this formation though, that's a thing. And I do have my. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it, we're gonna go for the soul donut. Just try to. Their defenses are lowered, I wanna just deal some damage like that. Like that right there. That be some damage. Unfortunately, you're gonna stand. Oh, you're angry. You're, you're surprisingly good at, at, at being a beast hunter, and it kind of scares me a little. This is going to hurt. Ow. My de Divine Beasts are definitely taking a bit of a beating here, to be honest. Let's uh try to get some out of our... Def oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ow. Oh, don't stun my... Don't stun the one person who needs to heal the stuns. That's just mean. And my barrier, for that matter. I'm, I'm actually struggling with this fight a bit more than I thought I would, um, and it interests me a bit. So, that's, that's, it. that's, hmm, unexpected developments, really. Um, I'm gonna go to this formation to give, base, to basically give Scooter a chance to get out of that stun, because I'll still have Rama kite up if I go for the, the next turn. I can actually kill some of these plant bees too, and really lower the amount of damage I'm taking this turn, which is nice. Even though you got stunned as well, which is annoying. Can we stop it with the stuns? I, I do not appreciate the stuns, but we'll go in here and at least heal up a little bit. Um, I was hoping to heal more than this, but oh well. I could go into this formation twice, because this is just a barrier right here. I'd rather break the barrier, though, and kill something. Fortunately, I've killed all the corner Divine Beasts, and none of the... Uh, middle ones, which is... means I'm basically going to win because I kill all the Divine Beasts. But, uh, that's okay. This is seriously putting a damper on my MP as well, so... Although, it's allowed Screw to recover a bit more MP, which is nice. 
Skira recovers a lot of MP per turn just because of the fact that he, uh... Oh, this is gonna be annoying because she's gonna just put another barrier back up. Oh, well, aren't you just an obnoxious little piece of shoot? <sighs> okay, well, let's just stick with this and not get stunned, hopefully. I said not get stunned, hopefully. Not get stunned, hopefully. That that was not what I wanted. Ay vey. Oh, well. We'll, uh... We'll just chip away this barrier with my smaller people and hopefully eventually win this fairly lengthy fight. Oh, and you're kind of scary too. But now we actually get a nice, strong heal going up there, which is exactly what I wanted. And this should break the barrier, I would think. Yep, barrier is gone, which means my wind formation is going to essentially guaranteed kill someone, which is nice. My fire formation probably is fast enough to outspeed and kill people too, so... Um, plus, you're confused. Well, you already know confusion happens if you use that move too long. We've used it for a significant portion of this LP, really. So, boom, you're dead. Boom, smack you. Oh, gotta get the upper hand. Nope, too late. You lose. Good day. Yeah, I do at speed. Thanks to that extra speed boost probably certainly helps, because these people do seem fairly quick. So we'll actually get another chance to attack, uh, to attack her. Hi. Well, you actually are kind of... you're just kind of done, really. Um, I'm just going to go into this formation, just so we can get see her other her other remark, because I will kill this Divine Beast, hit her, so she'll actually get our chance to talk, then she'll give up next turn, so... Basically, we win! We've killed all of her Divine Beasts. Uh, we're in trouble. Yeah, you are, Cure, because guess what? You lose! Good day. Mm, I wanted to fight a little bit more. Her new expressions make her look so sad. I like the new cure. Human cure is cool. Also, a lot of... Not a good chunk of... Well, not a lot of experience, but a good chunk of experience. There. Enough to level up Shadow Mario twice. That's okay with me. So... <laughs> Guess I lost. I still have work to do. Hmm, that's gotta be it. Kahu, thanks. You really are strong. Hey, let's do it again. So... Our first battle of Cure. I'm not sure if we'll get more of them, but much, much stronger. Yeah, that's that's cool. That was something like I said that did not happen in my practice files, so was not quite expecting that to be a thing, but apparently it was. Um, and with that though, I'm like, okay, so trying to wrap up this episode in a decent amount of time. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna record this whole thing and make cuts. I think. Because it's so hard to judge when the best points to cut would be in this in this world. Hey, that's right, we still have a comma to get. Revenge. At least they can still speak English. Well, not really. I guess they don't seem like they, they can't really speak as much English as the dark comma forests were. At least that's the gist I'm getting. But hey, it's you! That's the MP recovery comma, which is the one that... It's probably worth coming down here to get. Also, yeah, the, that battle basically gave Scooter back all of his MP, by the way. Which is funny, which is good, because this will actually give Tamal a chance. I, I'm actually not going to be worried about MP. That that battle somehow helped Scooter's MP problems, not hurt. That makes... I mean, he recovers a lot of MP between turns when he's not active, so... That's why. So I guess when we have battles, I mean, we're not really using... This rotation puts a lot of stress on, on Scooter because he goes twice in a row right at the beginning. It doesn't, but it puts a lot less pressure off the other Divine Beasts. So that's good, though, because that means essentially all the other Divine Beasts will get a chance to heal their MP up um, while Scooter's going back down. So that kind of works out. That's a surprising perk that I was not expecting. That was a surprisingly long battle that I was not expecting as well, for that matter. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, let's just go ahead and hopefully confuse and defeat this guy and all that jazz. So, boom, you're confused. Oh, you're actually dead. Wow. Was expecting to have to go in the flare formation there, but apparently not. Oh, well. So, that takes care of him. Minuscule bit of experience here, but that's okay. We got ourselves a new Kalma. That's all that matters. Zabone! Zabone. I, I, I don't know what kind of joke to make off of that, but Zabone. Uh, I think that's all there is for this one, so let's go ahead and move on. I think we have time to get one more done, probably. So, uh, it's before I probably cut this episode. 
Or I cut it right now. That's a possibility, too. Totally a possibility. So, hey, you're new and exciting. Can I... No, I can't. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to fight you, then. That's that's fine. You're new. I'd have to fight you anyway. I was just hoping to get a first strike on you so that I'd make you feel sad. You'd be like, oh, I got first strike done. I must be a noob and a scrub. Can you stop smacking the person with the highest defense, please? It's with normal attacks. It's really just not very effective, sir. You're just not doing it right. I'm sorry. You tried, but you failed. So, yeah, we'll smack him for a bit of HP. Uh... What's what? Uh, uh, Shadow Mario will do the same. The reason I switched to Water Formation next is just so I don't get the defense drop before Shadow Mario attacks, because I want to keep them alive long enough to get experience on everyone. So I'm purposely, you know, doing things this way just to for that sake, I guess. But yeah, ah, I, my headset almost just fell off my head because I accidentally hit the wire with my hand. I don't know if that was audible. If it was, if it wasn't, your but, uh, hey, you trying to attack my barrier and failing. You're not very good at this. Let's go ahead and kill the two of them off and then, uh, go on a merry way. So, yeah, like I said, a little bit of extra healing in the war formation might be a better idea, or MP healing, because then I won't have to waste Melixers, but... Eh, it really just comes down to personal preference, I think. I mean, I'll begrudgingly admit that probably an MP heal, or, uh... Well, I guess it depends, because an MP heal is good for, just, like, an overall just going through the forest standpoint, but for, like, arena battles and stuff like that, it's better to have, you know, either an offensive thing or an HP heal or, or the resurrect move. Arya is still a very tempting thing to put on him. So, uh, hey, you're a heal flower. I'm going to come back to you when we are done with this floor, because... I see no reason to use you yet. I can't squeeze by you. Nope. 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 And everyone burned. The end. Yeah, we've seen these fights before. They're nothing too, uh... Nothing, nothing too different, really. I mean, it's been for... Uh, the extra mode for this game, the, you know, the post-game, is just really a lot of just the same, unfortunately. Hey, we got our first book. A healing book, which is not anything I care about. I really want the resurrect books because you can get the full heal resurrect books here. Hey, you're new and exciting. Let's fight you. Um, let's fight. Hey, that means the scooter dance will be back. That's exciting. Yay for scooter dance. Let's just ram a kite it up and uh, put up a barrier against healers because they will never, ever, ever get through it, and it'll be funny. Anyway, uh, these guys are fairly tanky. These are definitely the tankiest of the Water Formation Divine Beasts, if you really think about it. They, they really seem like they're the tankiest. This would kill if it weren't for the fact that I'm pretty sure Shadow Mario is going to go for a different target. So, uh, that's unfortunate, but... Otherwise, it would probably kill. And the nice thing is, um, since we have that Heal Flower still in this level, we'll, we should probably be able to get our... Uh, Oh, bro, they're not even gonna do the, the scooter dance. Anyway, um, we should probably be able to get most of our, or we'll be able to get all of our MP back by the end of this, and not have to waste the Melixer yet, which is nice. So um, that works out. Assuming we, well, we might actually have a battle and stuff to do as well. So uh, very much a possibility. There are plenty of divine beast battles to be had in these forests. Um, so these, I think, are where you primarily go to get the. All the different medals, because if you get the medals, there are eventually arenas we'll come across uh, where we can do stuff with them. That's content I'm not planning to do in this game. Just a heads up on that, I'm not planning on ever doing uh, the the species, well not species, but like the genus specific arenas, like Nas only, because I don't have, you know, I have one Nah. I'm not going to spend hours to raise a whole team of each type of divine beast. That would take a long time. Also, hey, looks like there is actually a battle after all. Hey, hey. let's do what two beast hunters do when they're alone. Oh my, I need an adult. Battle. Come on, here goes. The not trainers are always so creepy. They are the pedos of the Jade Dacoon 2 world, apparently. They they much scary. They very scary. Hunters. Very scary. Okay, let's start the battle. 
So, we got a battle off of Nob Beast Hunter, but not really as scary as Cure was. As you can see, they don't even have fully divine. Well, I guess there's, that one's fully evolved, but not all of them are fully evolved in. Actually, I don't even think that one's fully evolved, is it? No, yeah, it is, because the, the Pufferfish. Yeah, so. It's just a mix, really. Although, poison's annoying. Two poisons are barely annoying. No, none of that poison stuff. No. Well, that's okay, because we're going to go right to our war formation, and we can cleanse that off fairly quickly, so. Not too concerned necessarily about that outcome. Especially when I can just one shot his Divine Beast. Jeez. Jeez. Just violence. I'm going to go ahead and then just go into this formation first, though, because I don't know. Why not? Let's just go into this formation first. Why not? And, uh, kill you and confuse you. So you can go attack yourself. Or, well, you have to attack. You have to get through here first. Here you go, MP. Ha 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 ha. Suffer! Suffer! Anyway, let's, that's enough of this poison shenanigans. Let's go into this formation. Um, oh, you're just you're going in this one for some reason. Even though... You know, you have one to... It's just going to leave you open to be attacked. But that's okay! Hi, poison! Bye, poison! No longer existing. So, uh, Valiatude is going to go ahead and explode this guy. Boom! Yeah, you flinch. You flinch like that. You you do that flinching. Mm. Ouch! What was that? What's the meaning of this? The meaning of life is 42, apparently. Anyway, let's let's yeah. This isn't gonna go well for your divine beast, buddy. That almost one shot that one as well. But hey, you're dead. And let's go ahead and smack him again. Mmm, so exciting. Like I'm about to go to another world. Not be something strange. Um. Well, we do need our defense boost up, so. I don't know why you keep going back in here, sir. Hey, the barrier went down! Guess what? We're gonna put it back up again. Oops. Oh, barrier is like one of the most ridiculously overpowered skills in this game. It's it's really silly. I love it. It pretty much d destroys bosses too, because it pretty much you know you just keep putting barriers up. I can do it if I try. Don't look at me like that. He's so embarrassed. All right. Well, you know what? I had enough of your shit. Let's just go ahead and uh, go in here. Probably kill one of these divine beasts and pretty much leave them open to lose. Or you know, kill us, kill them both, and kill them both. Killing them both works. Uh, fire for motion and to destroy him? I think so. I think that is the best call right now. Actually, this might just kill his divine. Nope. Go! Kill his divine beast instead! Kill his divine beast instead! Okay, well, that's fine. You can kill him too. That works. <laughs> Many beast hunters have passed ahead of me. They'll never run out. Yeah, that's because you're not really very good, sir. I'm sorry. It's just the truth. You're just. You're bad. You're bad, and you should feel bad. But that's okay, we still love you. Excellent, as usual. You came with a strong attack, I was so surprised. Hey, you okay, sir? Guppy to you, but I'm okay. Oh yes, I'll give you this, the symbol of my respect. Guppy to you? Guppy to you. Collect a lot of them, Okay. I'll do something good for you. Oh my. Well, then, see you. Bye. Ah, we won. Anyway, we go ahead and get our key spore and, uh... Yeah, that takes care of that. I think I can beat you next time. So now I wonder if we'll be able to have a chance to fight, like, Gil and Wu and Nam and all those people. I'm pretty sure, like, people like Kira will enter the tournament, the arena tournaments as well, for us to fight them there, so... That's also the thing. Can I do the juke? Can I do the juke? Jukes! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. And that takes care of that fight. More level ups. Always fun. So yeah, back to hunting more divine beasts. Wander around. Oh, you're, that's the end of this area. Oh, was this actually the... Oh, yeah, I guess that's actually the end of this one. Well, okay. Let's... Let's move on then to number four! That's very exciting and interesting and relevant to my interests and all that jazz.